It is time for some more fantasy draft action. So let's do it. I don't know what team I'm going to be, but we're going to find out. Let's randomize a team here as I stare directly into the camera. And let's stop. Florida. I feel like we've had them kind of recently, but I'm going to use them anyway. Player morale, I will turn that off. Fog of War will go off. Head coach edit lines, no. We want the salary cap to remain on. Fantasy draft, yep. And CPUs can trade if they ever so please. Now let me do some preliminary settings here. Injuries, get those out of here. I don't want those. Anything else? I'm pretty sure that's the only thing for this section. And then the next one, it's all about the notifications. So we want waiver notifications, stars only, trade offer notifications, same thing. Head coach, firing pop-up. Sure, we'll see if anyone fires their coach. And yeah, I think that's about it. All right. We're going to get pick 12. 12th, that's what pick we're gonna get. Calling it right now, dibs. Here we go. Oh, six. I was, you know, halfway there. I'll take that. So, yeah, let's start the draft and get this underway here. So, we've done shot, we've done senses, we've done skating, and we've done physical. So, it's either gonna be defense or puck skills. And I'm gonna go with puck skills today because defense is going to be, well, actually, I thought we weren't going to do good with the physical one, and holy crap. So, yeah, sort by puck skills, it really is pretty much anyone at the top here. So, who do we take is the real question. I can't believe Huberto is making less than six. Like, that is insane. You know what? I'm going to change things up, and I'm going to take Adam Fox. 90 overall, not making a whole lot of money. And certified beautician. All right, so let's go sort by puck skills again and see who we have to pick from this time. I'm assuming there's probably going to be a lot of players still with... I keep going past it, but there's probably still a lot of players here. Yeah, we have a lot to pick from. Okay, so don't think we're going to be running out of these players anytime soon. Oh, Zegris. Could grab another guy there, but that'd be more of a team for the future. But you know what? You know, let's do it. Screw it. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to try to just take a bunch of players here that don't normally end up on the squad. Although I try to do that most of the time anyway. This time I'm going all out. Let's go. Puck skills and see who we have left here. Ehlers is on the team pretty often. Tara Vinen, I don't think I'd take him very often. We got Barry. Mm, Suzuki. Can I take him? I can. Gerard as well. Okay, let's, uh, should we stay with the theme of under a million dollars and pick up Nick Suzuki? But we already have a center, right? Because Zegris is center as well. We could play one of them on the wing. Huh. Tara Vinen. All right, screw it. This is, like, just, I don't know why. I just feel like being unorthodox today, so we're taking Suzuki. Oh, man, the goalies went quick. I was not expecting that. Robin Leonard. What about Sorokin? 86 overall. And 4 million. Kemper as well, 86. 3.5. Huh. Let's... Varlamov. Look at this guy. He does have an ability. Sorokin does not. Okay, you know what? Leonard has three abilities, though. Okay, we gotta go with Robin Leonard. I'll just take him. So we're down to one page. We have one page here. Actually, just less than one page. But yeah, we are getting down there with the puck skills. And I... I'm gonna take... I'll take Barry. We should probably get another defenseman in there. We have two defensemen, two forwards, and a goalie right now. What a weird lineup. Okay. Still have a few players. Let's take Clayton Keller. Yep. Nice pick there. He might grow out a little bit throughout the year. I don't know why grow out. That doesn't even really make sense. I meant to just say grow throughout the year, and I... Interrupted myself too early. <laughs> Jaden Schwartz. Yep. I'm also like just really tired today for some reason. So if I say just stuff that doesn't make sense, let it be. All right. Allow it. <laughs> uh, Yandel. Yeah. I did the NHL 10 draft on the same day as this, by the way, like right before this. So that one's probably a dumpster fire as well. So it looks like we have three players to pick from here. We got Shattenkirk, we have Zuccarello, and we have Eberly. I can't really say that any of these are unorthodox. Uh, we already have two left-wingers, which really makes me want to grab Everly. 
But Zuccarello is 85 overall. You know, that one overall makes all the difference. Or does it? I'll take Zook. Everly might even still be there, honestly, depending... Oh, this was our early picks. So we have a huge gap. He, he's probably gone. Puck skills. Yeah, Shattenkirk's the only one left. Okay, let's take Shattenkirk for now. That gives us four defensemen already. And we have no right wingers currently. Yeah, that's a thing. Puck skills. We're at four stars. We could take Gus. Gus Nyquist. We could take Radulov. The Warthog. Uh, I don't know if you guys get that reference at all or not, but... If you do... Good stuff. Right winger. So, I, well, it doesn't have to be a right winger, right? Like, we could take any player, really. Robbie Fabry. Yep. Thanks, Robs. Let's go. How much cap space? Oh, my word. We have a lot of cap space. Okay, so I'm going to try to pick up both Radulov and Phil the Thrill. Not really unorthodox, per se, but, yeah, no. Puck skills. Boom. I saw Merkley as well. Kind of want to take him. 76 overall. I don't really think that... Is he gone? <laughs> oh no, Radulov's still there. I was gonna say, I don't think he's gonna go. And I thought he went, just vanished in front of my eyes, but... Yeah, okay, puck skills, okay. I also want to grab Howla, which also, not unorthodox, but... We've already made our, our fair share of unorthodox picks here. Merkley is just adding to that list. And let's go back to puck skills. I'm gonna take Radulov. Yeah, try to get some snipers on the right side there. And I should probably think about a backup goaltender in the near future. Puck skills. We got only five players left here. And do I want any of them? Should I take... Well, I'm going to probably have to take them eventually anyway. But I'm going to I'm gonna go for a goalie for now. Let's try to pick up a backup tender. Braden Holpe would be nice. Don't really take him very often. Uh, oh, Vejmelka. Vejmelka? I don't even know how it's pronounced. But yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah. Let's do it. Stasny and Hornqvist are the only two left here, and I'm going to take Stasny as we only have two centers right now. Contract isn't that bad, and we are going to be within the cap, for sure. We have $24 million left, and we need three forwards and a defenseman, so four players total. We are golden. Got one player left, and it's Patty Horns, so another right winger there. Is he listed as a sniper or a two-way forward? Oh, he's a power forward. Okay. Okay. I am down with that. I don't even know who this lad is. But I think I'm going to take him. Oh, he's a sniper. I don't know if I can do that. I really want to, but... Maybe that's not the move then. I got Jumbotron. Which would certainly not be a unique pick. Ranta. Sampo Ranta. Right wing. Another sniper, though. Alright, we gotta we got to try and find... Someone here who's not a sniper, you know? Is that too much to ask for? What about high rows? Left wing. Oh, we have four left wingers already. I guess it doesn't really matter. We do have three right wingers now. Taro high rows is a guy I don't really take ever, I feel like. Hmm. Okay, let's... let's. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do it. So we need a center and a defenseman. I really want to take Getzlav, but... It just doesn't, you know, <laughs> it's not unique enough. Let's go to centers. So we're at three and a half star. There's actually a lot of centers here. Yeah, we got quite a few options. And it stops at Broussard. Okay, so Broussard and up. What about Tynan? TJ? Maybe? It's a guy that, you know, isn't <laughs> often drafted by me, I must say. Chris Tierney. Yeah, Maybe. Let's do it. The last pick of the draft has to be one of these four lads here. Should it be the other? <laughs> the other Sebastian Ajo? We couldn't get the forward, so we'll take the defenseman. Maybe. 76 overall is pretty low, though. But again, I want to be unorthodox today, so I'm going to do it. Let's go. Deal. Done. Deal. That's the draft. Looking pretty good. Oh, we also got Ryan Suzuki, it looks like. Cool. Let's go put the lines together and see if we have any chemistry or not. My bet is on or not. But I suppose we'll find out in a moment. Sim to the regular season. Yes, sir. Keep all that. Three pop-ups. So we are one down. We are two down. And we are three down. Okay. What? Four? Since when? Maybe that first one is like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go to edit lines. Boom. And, okay, all right. 
At least it's not negatives, you know? I'll take that. Yeah, so we'll leave Radulov up there. Hornfist, no. No, sir. Robbie Fabry is like a center slash left wing. Zuccarello. No, we'll leave that. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave it as it is. Screw it. Sure. I don't want to mess with the lines. Because every time I do that, they end up sucking. So we're just going to rock this. That's our squad right now. And on defense, we got Yandel and Fox. Okay, this I simply will not stand for. And we also did not draft this guy. We drafted this guy right here. Boom. How can we do this? Oh! E. That's not good. That gets them a plus two. If we can try to, like, offset this one now somehow, that'd be sick. Uh, no. Okay, maybe we'll just do that. 201. Roll all pairings, though, so they are going to get out there. Whatever. I'm over it. And in net, we've got Leonard and Vizmilka. I'm going to call him Karel. <laughs> it just seems, like, easier. And that is our offense. So I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. I think we're going to be a pretty bad team. If you want me to be real, I'll say we get 37 wins and Suzuki gets the most points with 71. I mean, we're not doing good, but we're not doing bad, really. We're not doing awful, I guess. Still thinking I'm right on the whole not making the playoffs prediction, though. Yeah, it seems unlikely. The boys kind of pulled it back here, you know, string together a few more wins and we're looking... Decent or you can just lose four straight five straight six straight Oh, there we go massive keep the current trading block. We're actually sitting. All right. We're 29 26 and 7 which isn't awful We could try to pick up some players here. Maybe like Goudreau 89 overall. Don't mind if I do I mean, yeah, you guys most of the time say I have free will to trade whoever I want in a lot of these drafts So maybe we should go after Goudreau and They are trying to retain two million eh? Okay. Well, what can I offer you? Draft picks. Oh. Okay. Well, I can give you a third. And skaters matching the block. Who else do you want? No. Zegris is up to 87? Holy crap. Suzuki's at 86? Fire me vertical. I can give you Zook. Yeah, maybe. That still won't go through, though. I'll try it. Propose trade. Trade rejected. Okay. This is not going to work. Got to give someone with more value than Zook that I really don't want to do. No, I'll give you Zook for sure. And then do we have, like, goalies matching the block? No, we do not. Skaters matching the block. Is anyone down here in the AHL or something? No. Draft picks. I'll give you two-thirds. There you go. Two-thirds and Zuccarello. Still no. I don't know how extreme you guys want me to go, but I'll give a second and a third. With, oh my goodness, still no. What if I retain? What if you guys don't retain any cap? No, you can just give them to me as is. Yeah, there we go. Boom. No retention. I'm going to try for the third again with all that in place. Proposed trade? Still not enough. What if I offer you the second now that you're not retaining salary? Oh my goodness. Still not interested in the deal. What rats. I don't want to get rid of Suzuki or Zegris. Skaters matching the block. No, I don't want to do that. I'm definitely not getting rid of Fox. They'll tell you that for free. All skaters. I can't really get rid of Barry. Okay, we can't. I guess Goudreau is just not in the, not in the cards. Exit. Anyone else available? Kadri. 88. What the heck? All right. Sure. Let's go. And let us go to draft picks. So they want... Oh. Oh, yeah. Easy. It's going to be an easy pickup. Skaters matching the block. Boom. They want... Suz oh, other Suzuki. Okay. I'll do that. I feel like we're overvaluing now. <laughs> Let's try for this lad. If it doesn't go through, then we'll do Suzuki. Okay. Suzuki. Boom. If not, then I'll do Holmstrom. I don't care. Trade rejected. Isn't sufficient at all. Give me a break. Holmstrom. Trade rejected. What if I give you Holmstrom and Suzuki, huh? What about that? I just want a good player here. All right. It's a done deal. So we got Kadri at least. 
Yeah, there you go. These are all the other players on the block. Kalorin, 85. Okay, well, I did what I had to do. I'm getting out of there. He's over a point a game right now. And I'm going to do best line. Oh, I already did it, I guess. He's right there. Preferred lines. Okay, so Kadri, Radulov, and Zegris. And then we got Zuccarello, Suzuki, Hornfist. All right, what if I... Oh, man. Radulov's a sniper, though, right? Oh, he's a playmaker. Why did I think he was a sniper? I'm all over the place with player types today. Okay, well, we can fix this then. Radulov can go down. Actually, let's move Radulov back up. And maybe Clayton Keller on the fourth line. Uh, yeah, we could do this. Give that last line some good chemistry. And then just have Clayton Keller playing with Suzuki and Zuccarello. Yeah, why not? And then on defense, I had to move Barry up. Yeah, and then I had to move you down, and I also had to get rid of Lichois and put in Aho. There it is. All right, goalies, we are still good there. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's see if that makes a difference. I think that the players growing throughout the year has really helped us because we were struggling at the beginning, and we sort of strung together a few wins, and then it seems like, yeah, the, the young guys just skyrocketed, and now here we are. We are making the playoffs. For sure. Stringing together some massive win streaks. Okay, stop the simulation. We have Tampa Bay in round one. What a turn of events that was. Let's have a look at the stats. So, Kadri put up 93. Wow. Okay. That is huge. Let's go to the entire league for now. So, we ended up finishing sixth in the entire league. Just shy of 100 points. Dallas gets the President's Trophy. And let's see. Is it top 16? No, it is not. We... Got the 18th place Minnesota Wild making it in. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at some of the player stats for the season now. Kadri, 93. What a performance. Zegris with 77. He's 87 overall. Zuccarello put up 71. Clayton Keller with 58. Suzuki, 56. Good job, guys. Unreal. Very solid performance. Oh my goodness, a dash 18 for Fabry. Rough go. Let's have a look at the goalies, shall we? Tenders, net minders, 907, 275. That's not bad, I guess. Three shutouts. And then Carell, 10, 10, and 0 with a 901, 306. Ain't really do too great. But definitely tried his hardest. Let's go to the entire league now and go to forwards first. So let's go down and to the top. Matthews. With the Art Ross, 113 points. Marshan with 100. Cooch with 96. We got past the 94. And then Kadri's right up there, man. He's with him. Atta boy. Puts up 93. Let's go. That is huge. He's like the only one here without an X Factor, I feel like. Yeah. And then Kaprizov has one. Yep. He's the only one on the first page without... He doesn't even have an ability. What a legend. Let's go to Defenseman. Yossi with 81. He was almost a point a game. And then Ekman Larson with 78. McCarr put up 72. Dougie is up there. There you go. And normally Fox is up there. He didn't do crazy for us, but he still did well. Goalies. We've got Vanacek. 71 games played. 45, 17, and 7. 7 shutouts. A 921 and 234. And then Nadeljkovic as well doing very solid this year. Okay. Let us... Simulate the playoffs. Let's see how it goes. I think we're going to do... We're going to get past the first round. You know what? Yeah, I said it. We're getting past. Same up to here. Come on, Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, boy. I like it. I don't like it. Yes, I love it. That's a good first round. We've got Toronto in round two. Let's keep it going here. Oh, boy. Okay. And we get swept. Yeah. That's a thing. Well, we made it past the first round. I'm down with that. And let's back up here and see... Oh, wait. They didn't even advance a day. It hasn't been decided yet. They tied it up. Game 7. Stanley Cup Final. Toronto Maple Leafs. Seattle Kraken and the Kraken take it home. Alright. Let's have a look at the Kraken roster. I was about to say lineup, but no. We're not having a look at their lineup because we can't do that anymore. Seattle Kraken. Where are you at? There you are. So they had Kyle Connor. Guy's sick. Yep. They had Stone, Doughty, Pavelski. Okay, they have a very, very good team. Yeah, I totally get it. I understand. Who do they have a net then? Do they have a good goalie too? They had Flurry still. 
Holy... I, I don't know. Their team is just insane. They totally deserve to win that. Have a look at the awards now. And that will pretty much do it. So the awards... We got Seattle Kraken, as we know. Dallas with the Presidents. Yep. And then these two faced off in the finals. Individual. Matthews with the Art Ross. And the Hart. The Norris goes to Yossi. Matthews also gets the Lady Bing. Love to see it. We didn't go home empty-handed. Zegris with the Calder. Kyle Connor with the Con Smythe. Vanacek with the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Gibson. Oleksiak with the Masterton. Moreau. Jack Adams. Barkov. The Selkie. Matthews also gets the Ted Lindsay, and Ovechkin will take the Rocket Richard at a boy. Here is the playoff tree for your viewing pleasure. We only have the defensive category left, but you know what? That one went pretty well. It was good to see the players grow throughout the year, and we took a lot of players that I normally wouldn't. So, yeah, that was a fun one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you soon.